Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to a video that I have been so excited to film. And this is a full face makeup tutorial using all makeup products from Dollar General. I have so many makeup products in front of me right now, actually too many to even do a full face out of because I have multiple foundations and concealers that I love, but all of these products I purchased from Dollar General last year in 2021, and I have full dedicated review videos on all of these products up on my YouTube channel if you're interested in more dedicated deep dive information on any of these products. But I love Dollar General, and I can't believe I only started shopping there last year. And I did a huge haul the first time I went in there and checked out the makeup because they have an amazing makeup selection and an amazing private label brand of makeup called Believe Beauty. And most of the products I'm using today are from Believe Beauty because I love this brand and I love these products. So I'm actually just gonna jump right in and continue talking as I'm doing my makeup. But this is the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer. So I clearly love inexpensive makeup and I love trying out makeup products that are, of course, very affordable, but amazing quality. And I love to compare them to high-end products. So just showing you this primer here, the blue color, just blending this all over. But the Believe Beauty makeup line is all under $5. And they are, as you can see, like good sized products, like oftentimes bigger than the high end products that you would purchase. But Dollar General also has other brands that I love, like Wet n Wild, LA Colors, CoverGirl. So, it's just so impressive and I feel like I was missing out for so long by not shopping at Dollar General for makeup, but now I have and now I have so many favorites, enough to do a full face, but I definitely want to go back to Dollar General soon and do another haul. I've also been wanting to go to Family Dollar and Five Below. I haven't looked at those stores for makeup yet, but I really want to. And if you have any recommendations for other very inexpensive stores that I can find great makeup at, please let me know. I, of course, love Shop Miss A and the Dollar Tree to get $1 makeup products. All right, so my face is primed and hydrated, but I feel like my lips are very chapped right now, as per usual. So I'm gonna throw on some Chapstick Total Hydration in the shade Pink Nude to moisturize my lips while I do the rest of my makeup. This lip balm smells so good. And it was actually hard for me to decide which foundation I wanted to use because I have a bunch of favorite foundations that I have from Dollar General, but I figured can't go wrong with the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. So I don't have any makeup tools from Dollar General yet. I bet they have great ones, but I'm just using my regular sponge and I'll reach for different brushes as needed. But I would really like to try out some makeup tools from Dollar General. But I have this in the shade Porcelain. One complaint that I do have about purchasing makeup from Dollar General is that it's hard sometimes to find your perfect shade. They don't have the best shade ranges or it's often limited supply. The packaging on this foundation is so nice and luxurious. It's a glass package with a pump which I really like. And so I'm very picky with all makeup <laughs> at this point, but especially picky with foundations. And the fact that I found some absolute favorite foundations at Dollar General is just amazing because it's hard to find an amazing foundation. But then I found a bunch, actually, I need to just call out some of my favorites here. I have the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation, which I use every time I try out a new primer or something like that on my channel. So if you're familiar with me and my channel, you've probably seen this a lot. I also 
love this CoverGirl Simply Ageless Age Defy Liquid Foundation. So good. So all three of these foundations are like top favorite foundations for me and also some of the most affordable foundations out there. <laughs> and okay, foundation is applied and my skin just looks and feels so good. It's evened out in skin tone, but you can't detect any like foundation texture. It just looks so skin-like and I am so picky about that with my foundations, but this one is incredible, so natural looking. Now for concealers, another type of product that I have a lot of favorites from Dollar General. I've got the Believe Beauty Concealer, the LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer, the Wet n Wild Stick Concealer. These are all awesome favorites from Dollar General, but I think I'm gonna stick with Believe Beauty for this Dollar General only makeup tutorial. I have this in the shade Ivory. And once again, beautiful packaging, big product, but oh, that's true. I forgot that um, <laughs> the applicator broke. And based off the comments on my video, that is a common occurrence with this concealer. So that's a real bummer there, but I just use a brush, like a skinny brush, to pick up the concealer instead. So sometimes you gotta make do. So I just kind of pop it upside down, tap it a little bit, get that product coming out, and then I pick it up on the brush. So not the most ideal concealer packaging experience, but I just blend it out with my sponge anyways, so it's okay with me. And now I blend it out. And so actually, of course I'm doing my makeup to show you and use these products all together, but I'm also doing my makeup right now for going out with my friends tonight. So this is like a true makeup look that I am going to be wearing out. So I really do care about how my makeup looks today. And in this video, like this is realistic, true makeup look that I am gonna be wearing out. Like this concealer looks so smooth and hydrating on my under eyes. It has great coverage, but it looks so lightweight. Once again, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup. And that's, of course, my goal, is for my makeup to look so natural and skin-like that you can't tell if it's skin or makeup. Another Believe Beauty product for my setting powder. I'm going in with the Matte Blur Loose Powder in Translucent to set my face and this concealer. So it's really easy to get the powder out. You can get plenty into the sifter here or into the lid. So I like the packaging on this. I like the off-white color because then I don't have any flashback. And so this concealer creases a little bit. So I just set it with this powder and it will stop any creasing, but it still looks completely smooth and skin-like and doesn't leave any powdery residue. And because of that, I'm just using my sponge to press and set the whole face because it is such a soft, blurring, finely milled powder that applying a lot doesn't look cakey or heavy or textured on the skin. It just looks so smooth. And like I was saying, I'm going out tonight with my friends, so I want my makeup to last all night. I got a little messy <laughs> with my powder. It's all over my sweater. At least this is not the outfit that I am planning to wear out tonight. <laughs> All right, now moving on to my bronzing contouring. I kind of just do that in one step. I don't do like the cream contour underneath, then a bronzer, then a contour, a powder on top. Like <laughs> I keep it pretty simple. So I'm just going in with this Believe Beauty Sunstruck Marble 
bronzer in the shade Golden Sienna. And it's really pretty, this marble. Contour the cheeks and warm up the skin tone. This is more of a cool toned brown, so it doesn't look orange at all. So it can really create that contour chiseled effect. And it overall looks pretty matte on the skin. So that's also good for contouring and looking very natural. I just think this is like a very unique shade of bronzer slash contour, however you want to use it. Usually they're so orange or warm toned and this is not too dark, but not orange at all, which I really like. I just love how soft and smooth and perfected my complexion is looking. So let's continue on with that. I have here the Believe Beauty Major Monochrome Matte and Shimmer Blush Duo in the shade Gallivanter. And I love this blush duo. It's got half of it shimmery, half of it matte, and it's that dusty rose shade that I love in blushes. Not too pink, not too red. So I'm just kind of picking up both sides so that I can have a little glowy blush on my cheeks. So it's not too dark, not too crazy pigmented, but the shimmer gives such beautiful glow to the skin without being too sparkly. Love that. And it's a very warmed up type of blush tone. It really gives that sun-kissed look that I love. Okay, I am almost done with my complexion products, but I'm just gonna do a little bit more highlighter. I know that my skin is already glowing with that blush, but let's go in with a little bit more highlight from this Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette that I have in the shades Light Medium. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this gold highlight which has such a buttery feel. So it's very smooth on the skin. So blendable. Like, yeah, just add a little bit more definition to the cheekbones, a little more glow. And it's such a beautiful formula. I'm also gonna go ahead and highlight the brow and inner corner with this. And so now I surprisingly do not have an eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be using this little potted eyeshadow, the Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow in Gold Flake. So I'm just going to use, once again from this contour palette, the bronzer shade as my crease shade. And this will just create that little contour and definition that I like for my eye looks. You know, surprisingly, I don't have eyeliner either, probably because I just don't really wear eyeliner on a daily basis, so it's not something I was purchasing when I was at Dollar General, but that's okay. I definitely do not need that for this makeup look. And I'm just going to pick this up with my finger. I love the texture of this. It's really cool. Very creamy feeling, and I'm just blending this all over the lid. It's not super pigmented. It just kind of has this golden sheen, almost like a highlight effect. So very easy to wear. Just throwing that bronzer in the crease and then this very easy all over the lid shade on all over the lid is such a quick and easy anytime kind of eyeshadow look. It can be casual, it can be a little bit glammed up. So I personally like this as kind of a daytime eyeshadow 
look just to give a little something to the eyes like I put in a little effort but it's so easy and wearable and then it doesn't even matter what kind of outfit I'm wearing with it what season it is just very easy go-to eyeshadow shade and now for brows oh I'm so excited to finally fill in my brows when I have the rest of my face done and I don't have my brows on I'm just like oh this makeup look is not looking right but soon it will I'm going in with the Believe Beauty brow defining pencil in the shade light brown I love this pencil it has that spoolie on one end which I really want in my brow pencils and then the sharpen type of pencil on the other end and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in and shape these brows it's a soft formula so it's very blendable pigmented so I just use a very light hand and I'm not even being too particular about where I fill it in because it's this nice soft creamy texture that once I flip it over to the spoolie it blends out all smooth and it'll fill in the entire brow so there we go that is looking much better let's quickly get that other brow on so that I can feel more complete <laughs> I'm a little surprised that this is the shade light brown because compared to the other eyebrow pencils in my collection this is definitely more of a medium brown to auburn like it has a bit of a warm tone to it which works for me I mean I have so many different colors <laughs> in my hair but having a little bit of red tone to it actually probably matches my hair even better but just something to keep in mind with their brow shades is that it seems to be slightly off <laughs> from what I would typically expect and I don't necessarily love this spoolie it's like very separated bristles like it works but I feel like I have to like go in and clean up underneath the brow a little bit more because it's a little bit hard to get precise with this spoolie okay I have my brows on now let's set them in place with another Believe Beauty product the eyebrow styling gel in clear definitely a good idea I'd say to go with the clear since it's kind of hard to choose your right shade in their brow products but see this is the kind of spoolie that I like the bristles are really small close together so it gets every brow hair and it's a really small applicator as well so perfect I kind of wish it was more something like this style on that brow pencil bigger but more like spiral and close together bristles <laughs> you know I've tried out so many makeup products when I'm particular about the shape of the spiral of <laughs> a spoolie but let me tell you it makes a difference <laughs> But I like this clear brow gel. Tame my long brow hairs and also kind of define the brow hairs to make the brows look even more full and natural. Okay, I just have a few finishing touches mascara and lips. And I have a few mascaras here that I really like. All of these are Believe Beauty. So I've got the Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara, the Voluminized Mascara, and the High Definition Skinny Mascara. And these can be layered up really nicely. This one I do have in the shade Black. I did accidentally pick up some of these mascaras in shade Brown, which is also nice. And that was kind of a pleasant surprise. But so I'm going in with the skinny mascara to start. I really love a skinny mascara for the lower lash line. And then I want to add some more volume. So going in now with the Voluminize mascara. And this one is actually in the color brown. I really like the applicator on this mascara. It's more of that spiky, 
silicone bristle applicator. And you can see the difference between the two eyes, how that just really amped up the look. And so lastly, lips. I have so many lip products from Dollar General that I love, but I am gonna be applying today the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick from Believe Beauty in the shade Honey Blush, because I figured this is a nice neutral shade, similar to my natural lip color, to go with more of this natural, everyday kind of makeup look. Also, I didn't get a lip liner from Dollar General, and that is definitely something that I'm gonna pick up next time I go, because I love lip liners, and I bet I can find some great ones there. And since I have so many lip products that I love from Dollar General, for the fun of it, I'm gonna go ahead and top this liquid lipstick off with the Believe Beauty Lustrous Shine Gloss in the shade Bombshell. Just a quick layer of this. I'll take down my hair for the finished look. What do you think? I think the makeup looks so good. Just every product really impressed me. The fact that I could find a product for every step in my makeup routine from Dollar General that I love is just amazing. So I just love proving that you do not have to spend a lot of money to get good makeup. So if you have any favorite Dollar General makeup products that I did not feature today, you have to let me know about them in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching this video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.